Hello, lovelies. Hope you're well. Now, I did watch a tiny bit of I'm a Celeb um, the other night. And one of the things I heard lovely Emily Atak say is, I often have self-doubt. And, you know, you would look at her and think she's a very successful actress. You know, she's dared to know what she wants and goes for it. Most people have self-doubt. Most people have thoughts of doubt about themselves. And many, many people are successful even though they have to push through. And it is a bit like pushing through those thoughts of doubt. And this is how I see the thoughts. So self-doubt is about having thoughts that doubt that you can do the thing you're either about to do or be the person that you hope and dream that you can be. The way I see the thoughts of self-doubt is a little bit like you're peddling away in the direction you want to go on and then the thought of self-doubt comes and it's a bit like squeezing on the brakes on the bicycle. So what I want you to consider doing when you have the thoughts of self-doubt is first of all, recognize that, they, that it is just a thought and then think, oh, take a moment and think, oh, that's interesting that I have that thought. And then imagine it being like a balloon drifting away. So for example, you may have a really important meeting that you're going to. And you may get, one may get the thought of, what if I don't have the right answers? Then what you do is you think, oh, that's interesting that that's a thought I had. And then imagine it turning into the thought, turning into a balloon and going away. We don't need to attach to our thoughts. We have thoughts that work for us and thoughts that don't work for us. And so what I want for you is to recognize the ones that work for you and the ones that don't work for you and to be able to have more of the ones that work for you and to dissipate the energy of the habitual thoughts that no longer work for you. All right, lovelies, I'd love to know how you get on. Let me know. Have a great day.